Yo, what's going on guys? Promaker Dev here and um, this video is going to be a little bit short, uh, kind of a quick tutorial on um, how to manipulate your keyboard, how to use your keyboard um, to fire off or to trigger a certain function. So if you're actually, if you have a website and you want to kind of like uh, use shortcuts, like keyboard shortcuts, then this method is actually going to be very, very helpful for you. And um, if you don't know it, of course, then you should probably um, know it because it's very important. Okay, so I have created this example just to show you guys. Uh, so this is a this is just a div, and when I click on the A, um, the the div is going to move on a side, and when I click on the D, it actually moves to the other side. So I can actually play with this just with my keyboard. You definitely don't want to create something like that because uh, that's pretty much useless. But this is just for the sake of showing you guys. So you can you can create some other cool stuff uh, like keyboard, for example. So let's say let's just say you have a um, a video on your website, and when you click on the K uh, key, uh, that video is going to stop. It, it's going to to stop playing, which is which is a pretty cool thing. So um, without talking too much, I'm just gonna uh, go right into my HTML. But before we do that, um, I just want you to know that in JavaScript, every key in your keyboard has a code. So um, it's called the key code, and um, literally every key in your keyboard has a code. And in order to know uh, that code, um, I just want you to. Uh, this is a website. This is just an online website. Press any key to get the JavaScript event code. So if I pressed on A, for example, it's going to give me fit 65. If I clicked on anything like, um, I don't know, like let's say control, it's 17. If I clicked on D, um, it's going to give me uh, 68. Now I'm going to use two keyboard, uh, two keys in which they are A and D. So uh, 65 and 68. And uh, with with you knowing this, let's dive right into the code. Um, so Oops, uh, that's actually the finished code. You see, it's not very, it's nothing complicated. Um, we're gonna do this in less than one, um, I don't know, like five minutes or something. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna create something new, uh, a brand new, uh, alrighty, so I have created an HTML, a brand new one. Um, so this is the HTML and this is the CSS and we got nothing in the JavaScripts because we're gonna start doing this. Actually, I haven't I haven't created anything. I just I just deleted the JavaScript like like now, um, but uh, I think it's okay. So this is my HTML. I have a container and I have a a, a box, a, a div that says move me, and this is basically the the um, this this div right here. Okay, um, and this is the the CSS. It's, it's nothing crazy as always. Um, just a little bit of stylings. Uh, you can see if you're curious, you can just put. I'm just gonna leave the the code of the link of the code down below in the description so that you can take a look at it. So right now, um, when I click on A or D, when I click any key, nothing's gonna happen because we have nothing in in the JavaScript, and that's what we're gonna do now. I think I'm talking too much. I'm sorry about that. I really. Okay, so uh, first of all, I need to create a const, and then I'm I'm gonna do the box, which means. Uh, it represents this div right there and document dot query selector and uh, I, I named it box. Yeah, so box. And then now that I have the box div, um, I want to. Okay, let me just explain after I write this uh, window dot add event listener. So I basically added an event listener to the window, uh, the whole window, like the whole uh, tab or whatever you want to call it. So um, I added an event listener and right here, the, the event uh, is going to be key down. So whenever we click on key down, um, this is going to uh, fire off. It's going to fire off this function right here. I'm going to call it move and I'm just going to create that function. Uh, function move. All right. Um, and I want to add an event right here. So E, uh, I hope you're familiar with that. And um, I'm going to create an if statement. All right. I know this is this is really, really simple. So don't feel like like it's something complicated. So what I'm going to write now is uh, I'm going to do E, which stands for event dot key code with a capital co uh, C here. All right, uh, equals if it equals the number that we want right here. So I think it I think it was uh, no wait 65. All right, 65, which stay which is for the the uh, 
um, it's for the A, it's the code for, for the A, the letter A. So basically what I'm saying here is grab uh, the key code of whatever we click on and see if it equals to 65. All right, nothing crazy. And if it equals to 65, then that means I'm actually clicking on the A because 65 is the co key code of the A. So um, if it equals that, then I'm gonna go to box.style, I'm gonna access its style, and I'm going to change transform and set it to trans translates and move it uh, 440 40 viewport width. And then I'm gonna create an, uh, another if statement. So else if, oops, else if, and then e dot key code, same thing. And uh, the other d, wait, d, it's actually 68. So I'll just put 68. And that's, that's like uh, the same thing. So if we grab the key code of whatever we click on and, and see if it equals 68, if so, then uh, start uh, changing the style of the box. So style, wait, style dot transform and set it back to uh, zero. So translate zero, zero view width, view port width or whatever. So that's pretty much it. Uh, also notice that I have uh, gave it a transition right here. Where is it? Uh, transition one second. So so that it actually uh, you know moves with a little transition. So now if I refresh, please please work. <laughs> All right. So it's not working. Oh, it is working. Wait, the hell? Oh shoot, guys. Um, I'm really sorry. I have actually made a little mistake. I need. I flipped those. This is actually supposed to be the A, and when I click on the A, it moves to the right side, and it it was it was supposed to be the opposite. So um, I'm just going to. Uh, put this right here and that'll be 60, 68. Don't blame you guys. I'm fasting. So uh, let me just refresh and yeah, that's that's working. That's working pretty pretty neat. So that's that's pretty much it. See, it's I told you it's pretty easy. That's just a quick tutorial. So um, so that is the end of the video, guys. If you have liked it, please give it a thumbs up because um, seriously, just give it a thumbs up. You know, um, it really, really helps me. And uh, if you are new by any chance, consider subscribing to my channel because I have some pretty cool videos. You might want to check them out on my YouTube channel. And um, I'm also uploading some pretty cool JavaScript projects if you are interested. So if you are, just, uh, you know, uh, click the subscription button. Um, so, so I love you. Um, ooh, I also wanted to ask my 170 subscribers, you know, you, you guys mean a lot to me. I just wanted to ask you a little question. Do you guys want me to create more uh, videos on JavaScript that are a little bit ad advanced type of videos, like uh, videos that are about APIs and, you know, all this beautiful stuff? Um, so if you want me to do so, please let me know down below in the comments and um, I reply to you guys. So uh, peace out. <coughs> peace out. Thank you.